what's up everybody it's me Kevin Dude. today I post an update video I'm of my in and 8 3d printer so currently as you can see it's busy I'm printing a it's called extra button this is how it should look like when it's finished it's just a 20 minutes print so I thought why not yeah it's printing very slow now and this is because I have set the minimum layer time um, to 10 seconds and this three surface <laughs> would take far less than 10 seconds with the set speed of 30 millimeters per second and so yeah it just reduced the speed so um, something I changed I printed from last time is I removed the what's called the small heat, si heat sink from the extruder motor part this is because um, the, the, <coughs> the filament clutched the extruder and I wanted, to f I wanted to have a bit more control so that I can look in and see what's happening inside and yeah so just for this 90 degree um, metal angle I just mounted a 50mm fan on there should hold for now so currently we're at 65% so in the meantime I will just show you what I also did and um, what I did is basically I printed the same um, nut I printed last week um, two, um, three times this time but with the different qualities of 0.2 mm resolution, 0.1 mm resolution and um, the camera is focusing and 0.05 mm resolution and I have to admit that the 0.05 mm resolution looks very very nice. Furthermore I printed this half circle fan duct but sadly, um, if you can see, no you can't because it's not focusing on it. So with the other hand, I'm, I'm right handed. See, I already broke it because I applied <laughs> too much pressure from below when mounting the filament and yeah. So here you see all the tools I use. Oh yeah, I bought some mechanics oil and uh, what's called um, bearing grease. Um, I've used this oil on the C axis rods because they were creaking and yet yeah, did a nice job and it just cost me I think no I'm pretty sure two euros and three euros. So um, a good possibility to get out and um, to unclutch the nozzle is with these small wires inside a single wire which did a nice job. I also got some uh, a new spool of PLA it's black PLA from Yanbex, which is or oh, was the seller with the best rated PLA on Amazon Germany and so I thought why not giving it a try. It's 1.75 millimeters and it works fine with my set temperature of 195 degrees Celsius. In the last video I mentioned that my extruder wasn't extruding anything, anything at all and so I added another nut and four nuts to the spring to and apply, apply more pressure to the filament and so allowing it to extrude properly. Um, this week I found out that another thing that contributed to this problem um, was the screw from the uh, Y axis holder or Y belt holder here. As you can see in the image pointing too much in and so the lever got stuck on it. So yeah, it seems like the print is going to finish. Yeah, waiting a little bit more. So, yes, it's not wrong. Nice. So, yeah, here it is. On, actually, on white background, you see the black PLA much more detailed. But the camera is also not focusing. Yeah, so if I turn it around like this. Okay, it doesn't like the white background. So, here you can see it's quite detailed. Looks quite smooth, 4.2 millimeters, similar to the nut from last video. Yeah. So there it is, mounted and hopefully working. If I just press down here, I should be able to push down the spring. And as you can hear, it properly does. So another thing. As you might have noticed, I did not use any fan duct this time. It was just for an experiment, because last time 
when I tried to print something with the fan duct, for some reason, um, filament got clutched down into the transition zone and thus preventing me finishing the print. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, consider a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. So thank you guys for watching. It's me, Kevin2, out.